1947, for a radio broadcast, Dylan remembered the kind of boy he was. He looked like most boys, no better, brighter or more respectful. He cribbed, mitched, spilt ink, rattled his desk and garbled his lessons with the worst of them. He could smudge, hedge, smirk, wriggle, wince, whimper, blarney, badger, blush, deceive, stammer, improvise. Assume offended dignity or righteous indignation as though to the man of all. He was, when a newcomer, thrown into the bushes of the lower playground by bigger boys. Later, he threw newcomers into the bushes of the lower playground when he was a bigger boy. He scuffled at prayers. Smugly interpolated at the time-honoured, wrong, irreverent words into the morning hymns. He helped to damage the headmaster's rhubarb. Was 33rd in trigonometry. <laughs> and, as might be expected, edited, edited the, the school, school magazine. <laughs> he published several of his poems in his school magazine, and this one's about history lessons, and it's entitled Like That. I can't say when Columbus sailed to find the United States. I don't know when the plague began. I'll own I'm not good at dates. If you say... Bosworth Field. To me, the answer in my gullet sticks. But when the conquest mentioned, ha, I'm on the spot with 1066. Can anybody... The big beak asks... Tell me when Joan of Arc was burnt. Well, there you are, you know. That's just another thing I haven't learned. The First Crusade? Oh, not for me. Reform Bill? It's a further fix. The Norman? Only watch me now. Raise the hand with ten. ten six, 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 six. six. <laughs> I'm clear that Alfred burnt the cakes. But when? Alas, no figures come. Gunpowder plot? November 5th. What year? I again, I'm sprick and dumb. Washed out by the historic flood. Such chaps as I would sink like bricks. Did not each wear around his waist a life belt labelled... Ten, ten, six, six, six. <laughs> said, the first poems I knew were nursery rhymes, and before I could read them for myself, I had come to love the words of them, the words alone. What do you think? Maybe some nursery rhymes. <laughs> nursery rhymes? <laughs> nursery rhymes. <laughs> nursery rhymes.
Clint Jones was a contemporary writer um, of Dylan Thomas's. He was older than him, and they be became good friends. But before that, after reading just two of Dylan Thomas's poems, Glyn wrote this. I was at that time a passionate admirer of the work of D.H. Lawrence. And I felt that Dylan Thomas, whoever he or she might be, provided in some ways a similar type of new thrill. We've already heard some of the thrilling words that Dylan wrote. But this poem sums up just how passionate he was about language. Notes on the Art of Poetry. I could never have dreamt that there were such goings on in the world between the covers of books. Such sandstorms and ice blasts of words. Such staggering peace. Such enormous laughter. Such and so many blinding bright lights splashing all over the pages in a million bits and pieces, all of which were words, <coughs> words, words, and each of which were alive forever in its own delight and glory and oddity and light. Oh. I'm going to read Fern Hill by Dylan Thomas. It's a childhood memory. Now, as I was young and easy under the apple boughs, about the lilting house and happy as the grass was green, the night above the dingle starry. Time let me hail and climb, golden in the heydays of his eyes. Unhonoured among wagons, I was prince of the uptowns. And below, at uh, once below a time, I lordly had the trees and leaves, tray with daisies and barley, down the rivers of the windfall light. And as I was green and carefree, famous among the barns, happy about the happy yard and singing as the farm was home, in the sun that is young once only, time let me play and be golden in the mercy of his means. And green and golden, I was huntsman and herdsman, the calves sang to my horn, the foxes on the hills barked clear and cold, and the Sabbath ran slowly in the pebbles of the holy streams. And honoured among foxes and pheasants by the gay house under the new made clouds, and happy as the heart was long, in the sun born over and over, I ran my heedless ways. My wishes raced through the house high hay, and nothing I cared at my sky blue trades that time allows. In all his tuneful turning, so few and such morning songs, before the children green and golden, follow him out of grace. Nothing I cared in the lamb white days. The time would take me up to the swallow thronged loft by the shadow of my hand. In the moon that is always rising, nor that riding to sleep I should hear him fly with the high fields and wake to the farm forever fled from this childless land. Oh, as I was young and easy in the mercy of his means, 
Time held me, green and dying, though I sang in my chains like the sea.